Alright, so hey, what is up guys? I'm in XNL and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to update the Goofone i6s with the MediaTek MTK6537 processor as well as how to fix the play start issues that you might have running the older version. So now, let's get at it. Alright, so the first step is to actually get the MediaTek Preloader drivers. I'll have a link to ITX Tutor's website where it shows you how to do that pretty easily. As for the rest of the files, I have them linked down below. When that's done, go into the SP Flash Tool folder and then open the application called Flash Tool. Then you'll need to go and click on Scatter Loading and find the scatter file that should be located into the i6s Plus folder. And then go into the drop down here and choose firmware upgrade and then click the download button but before you do that uh, make sure that your phone is shut down then when you click on the download button plug in your phone and then you should see the red bar as you can see currently appear it will then format the phone and go through a couple of processes as you can see and it should take about five minutes And when that is done, you will see this check mark, which means that everything should have won successfully. Then you're going to want to go into your phone and boot it up to see if you actually uh, didn't break your phone. You will then be greeted with the welcome process, which I'm just going to go and fast forward through. You should then head into the dialer and type in the following code so you can actually uh, change the boot logo as well as enable the Google Play Store slash the English version of the phone. You can then go ahead and choose the Apple logo or the Android logo and then you want to choose the second option which is the option with the Google Play Store. And to fix the no service issue, you'll need to go into carrier and click on choose automatically and then you'll need to reboot the device. And then if you want to access the Play Store as well as register your Google account, you'll need to go into the App Store, then put in all your information, your email and your password that is, and you'll be able to download any apps available on the Play Store that is compatible with the device. Alright, so I'll just use this quick break to thank uh, Pranjal Bashman. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but he's the one that sent me the file necessary to update this device. And without him, you might uh, not even be able to update your device or you wouldn't even have this video. So again, uh, thank you Pranjal Bashman. Alright, so I guess that this is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, well, make sure you leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the NextNL HPLA and on Instagram at the NextNL. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because it really helps out. And you'll also be notified as soon as I release a new video. So again, I guess that this is it. Peace.